Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to show you how to make pretzel reindeer treats. Oh yeah, these are super awesome, really, really simple and easy to make. If I can do it, you can do it. And this isn't my specific recipe. I did some of my own variations, but it's something that I saw on Pinterest and I thought it was awesome and I thought I would show you how to make them. Again, really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. Begin by preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, but only if you're gonna do that method, which is method one. Now for method one, what we need to do is we have um, these pretzels, these are small pretzels. And what we're gonna do is we are going to take some Rolos and unwrap the Rolos. And I love Rolos, I love chocolate and caramel. So Rolos are just awesome. And what we're gonna do is just put them kind of right there at the bottom, like that. And then I'm gonna put it right here on a sheet pan lined with parchment paper, or you can do like a silicone mat. And I'm gonna do a few more of these, or you can put it right here in the middle like this. All right, so once we have these all done with the Rolo on top of these little pretzels, we're gonna put this in the oven just for about a minute or two so the Rolo can melt a little bit, and then we'll go on to the next step. Now to make the antlers, what we need to do is we're gonna take a pretzel and we're gonna just either break them or cut them in half. I like to just try to cut them right down the middle and sometimes you're not gonna get a nice piece, but you want kind of a full piece like this, even though it really doesn't matter too much depending on the look that you want. But I like to try to get a full half piece Okay, and then once we, once we take it out of the oven, they're slightly melted on there, and what we can do is come in here and put down the candy eye. I got a little bit of chocolate on that one. And then come in here with a red hot and put that right there for the nose or you could use a red M&M. And then we take these little ears or the antlers and put them right in the chocolate as well. Okay. So again, we'll take these little ear antlers and put them right there. It kind of works if the Rolo is right in the center as opposed to at the bottom. Um, either way, it doesn't matter too much. And on this one, put a little M&M. &M. We'll eyeball. This method is cool because you don't have to melt any additional like chocolate to act as glue because the Rolo itself is going to keep everything in place. I personally prefer the Red Hots for the nose, but the Red M&Ms are really cool also. So there you go. That is that method. I'm going to go ahead and finish some of these. And you can just, instead of cutting those other bits for an extra horn or extra antlers, you could just leave it like this. So here we have option one, and then just let that set. You can put it in the fridge so that Rolo can harden up again. And there we go. So I'm gonna set these aside. And now let's do 
another version. Now for this, we do, for the rest of these, we still need to have these little pieces of cut out reindeer um, antlers. So I'm gonna I'll just cut off a couple more of these. So again, just take your knife and just cut down and they'll probably break, but you'll usually get a good half. There we go, let's just do a few more of these. And now we need some sort of edible glue. And what I'm gonna use is just white candy melt, but you can use any kind of a chocolate or also just use frosting. And I just melted it in my microwave safe disposable piping bag, but you could also just melt it in the microwave safe bowl, bursts of 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then stir, and then just scoop it into a piping bag or just use a spoon or like a little brush like or something or like a piece of like popsicle stick something that you can use as like a little brush and now what we're going to do is i have my antlers here and i'm going to make like kind of like a going to be more like a dog slash reindeer with a double stuffed oreo and what i'll do is take some of these little pieces and you can just kind of stick them in the side here there might be a little fat for your Oreo, so you might, instead of trying to stick them all the way in, you might just put some of your chocolate in it. So it holds it. Sometimes if it's thin enough, then it'll stick right in there. And it's okay if the cookie cracks a little bit. All right, so that looks, looks kind of neat. And then I'm going to put a little dollop right there at the bottom. And then I will take a Rolo and unwrap the Rolo and put it right there at the bottom. And put a little dollop right there and you can take like an M&M or do the Red Hot. For the nose. And you can just leave it like this if you don't have candy eyes, just little dots of chocolate or frosting or put the candy eyes right on there. And there we go. That is another version uh, maybe call it a dog or a reindeer, uh, whatever you like. So that is one another version that you can do. Now, the last version or option is we take a Reese's, one of the mini Reese's peanut butter cups, or you can make a homemade one if you want. I have them on my channel here on how to make your own. And then for this one, take your reindeer antlers and you're just going to be able to stick it right in the side like that and then put a little dollop of chocolate Red Hot, all right, put some more down and then put the eyes. And you may need to chill your peanut butter cups. If they sit out at room temperature and it's warm out, then they might get too soft. Um, but that is another little version that you can make. Or instead of using like half pieces of pretzel, you can take these little tiny pieces 
and just kind of shove those in there. So you don't need to waste any of these little pieces of pretzel. Well, again, just put some right there, right there, right there. A red hot for the nose. And then the candy eyeballs. And maybe this could be like a little uh, fawn or a, a, a young reindeer where the antlers haven't fully grown or something. <laughs> so that is a, a cool another option for you. All right, so I have several of them done and I just want to show you kind of the three uh, main options. Technically there's about four, but we have the Oreo cookie one which kind of looks more like a dog, <laughs> but he's pretty cool. Um, which I'll show you what he looks like, like this. That style. Or we have this one, the Rolo melted one with a M&M &M for a nose. Of course, you can do a Red Hot for the nose as well. I kind of like the Red Hots. And then we have this one. It's not as sturdy, but with the peanut butter cup. And we have the little eyes and the red hot and the antlers in there. If you chill this longer, um, it'll be more sturdy. And you could also pipe in some chocolate around the antlers to make it stay better. So there you go. What is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. And that is how you make a few different styles of pretzel reindeer treats. Really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah, I'm gonna grab this one right here. Ooh yeah. <laughs>